So when I'm walking Roxy, I started out practicing walking really slow to teach her to not pull and to slow things down. I would walk just barely walk like this and you can do little pops like that if she goes ahead. Actually what I did was I took the leash in my right hand like that and, and your hand can still, your arm can still just hang loose. It doesn't have to be like this because you'll get tired if you do this. Just let it hang loose and then when you're walking see you can still pop back and then your left hand just lays there perfectly like this. Hey Roxy look good and you can just hand feed as you walk. It's really important you keep that leash loose. It needs to be loose. Sit. Good. Okay. Okay. So we do a lot of consecutive sits. Sit. Good. Okay. Sit. Good. Okay. Sit. Good. Okay. Sit. Good. So it just it's perfect if you have the leash in your right hand, you want to practice doing it that way. Your left hand's free to just reward her right there. Her head's at the perfect place, right at your leg. That's where you want her to be. And hand feeding her right next to you makes her want to be right next to you. So make sure you're not putting your hand out here so she's going ahead. You just drop your hand right there, right where she's at, right there. And uh, so you can do the consecutive sits, the sitting consecutively six or seven or eight times in a row like that. S breaks up that cycle of pulling because she used to be such a puller, as you remember. And also it's great for her sitting skills. And she has, every time that you have her sit, she has to stop and wait for your permission to go again. And it's just, it's just a good exercise to, to do with a dog to stop them from um, or break up that cycle of constant pulling that some dogs have. Another thing you can do are left hand circles. Okay, so you walk in the same way, but you do a circle. You actually walk in a circle, and this is a fairly small circle, sit at the end of that circle. Good, you can either say good and give her a piece of food or good and pat her on the head like that. So and then you pat your leg, of course, and say okay, and you walk a little bit farther and do another circle. And you could, I could do a bigger circle, but I'm just doing fairly tight circles because this is about what you're going to be doing. Sit on a sidewalk. Good. We're in the street now, so I could go wider, but I'm just doing small circles because you'll most likely be on a sidewalk. Or in the middle of your street, you can do this too, of course. Okay, another one. See, straight for like 10 feet or so, and you walk in a circle. See how I'm going left, turning into her? All the way left and back to where I started. Sit. Have her sit exactly where you started. Very simple. It's all you have to do. And it's just a great exercise to teach a dog to walk next to you. Because when you go left, it draws the dog back next to you. The leash is loose the whole time, as you can see. Maybe occasionally I went like that if she went a little bit too fast. But it's very little effort. And uh, she's very sensitive, of course, because she's a little dog. So you don't have to have any strength for this. You just have to practice these moves so that you get this. And if you do what I'm doing, she'll fall into line and start doing this for you like she does for me. Okay.